Hi, I'm Michael Lebowitz from Big Spaceship. I'm at the Can Lions. I just got off stage from speaking. Everybody was shouting and screaming and tearing at my clothes, wanting a piece of me. It was amazing. It was the greatest moment of my entire life. The biggest hindrance to creativity inside of any organization is separating people and all of their interesting skills from each other. Things are organized by people's output, by the tasks that they operate with, rather than by the goals, by the output. And if you reorganize it towards the output and everybody feels a common sense of their impact, and they can really lock arms with the people around them, develop trust, which then leads to culture, it becomes a virtuous cycle. Being professional is good, we need that, <laughs> absolutely. I insist on being professional. But professionalism is all about sanding off all of the interesting edges of people until they just fit inside of a role. I hire people, not roles, and I want that woman who codes and also loves Norwegian death metal, I want that whole person in every meeting that she's in so that she can add her whole self into the mix. And I think allowing for that in the organization, allowing for a little bit of weirdness is going to give outsized rewards. Creativity is innate. It's innate in everyone. All people are born creative. I mean, I don't know everyone. Maybe there's one or two out there that were born incredibly boring. But for the most part, you know, your average five-year-old on a scale of one to 10 is a 10 in creativity. So, but if you look at adults, and you're on a scale of one to 10, it's probably two out of 10 people feel creative and get engaged creatively. What happens? School mostly happens. You go from, oh my God, that tree is so beautiful. It's got blue leaves and a purple trunk. You know, that's incredible. To, that's wrong. Leaves are green, trunk is brown. Things become binary. And everything you've known now gets clamped down in that system. And the alternatives to that aren't enough inside of school. And so we just get acculturated to this is what's right. This is what fits inside the lines. So can you surface it out of people who have gone through that horrible experience? Yeah, absolutely. It's possible. It's. Uh, a lot of it, I think, is confidence and being in an environment that invites it, that isn't going to make you feel like you shouldn't speak up. The number one reason people don't speak up is fear of social rejection. So stop. Stop creating an environment that creates that sense of fear.